everyone. Today I'm going to review the Wu 2.0. Uh, I used the first version of the Wu for pretty much uh, over a year and I was relatively happy with it. It had a few issues. I mean they solved it by bringing out a new mount and so on. So I was looking forward to testing the second version and see what improvements they've made. So let's get right into it. Um, packaging slightly different than before, uh, different box. A lot more details on it now. Um, Who's inside here? It's nice and protected. Okay, now what I didn't know about my first Wu is that you need to put the Wu on the board in a specific way. And finally, it's in the instructions here. I'm not sure if you can actually see that. We'll focus. Yeah. But essentially, um, you're supposed to put it with the switch facing your right foot. I didn't know that on uh, well, my previous one. I'm not sure if that even was a thing with the first Wu, but you need this for the orientation. Um, rest of the stuff in the box. You've got a, the typical charger. You've got your little plate that mounts on here and a little cleaning pad to uh, clean your board before you put it on. So, is there any major differences on the Wu itself? Um, yeah, I mean, my original Wu, the construction was sort of iffy. You could see a lot of gaps. What you will notice on this new one, I need to film that in a bit later, is that all the points here, 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 anything that um, was sort of weak on the old Wu, they've, um, looks like they've put some hot glue on there. So it's all really sealed. And what happened to my first Wu immediately after the first session, even though I cleaned it, is that one of the um, connecting points started um, to corrode, no matter how clean I kept it. I mean, it did, wasn't an issue, it kept work fine, but that's what happened. And this one, yep, is all good. Also, this one has, a, has the actual um, Wu number printed on the bottom and, you know, 2.0 and whatever else. Um, which my original one didn't. My one was completely plain on the bottom. The unit also feels slightly heavier. It could be just from the glue. So, um, when I went out and riding, there's the cool thing now is that you have two modes. You've got your normal big air mode and you've got a freestyle mode. Now, the big air mode is what everyone knows about. Go out, jump, and it will measure your height, your hang time, and the g-force of your landings. Um, I tested this sort of side by side with my other one and there is almost no difference in the jump heights. Some people have said, yeah, you jump a bit higher on the new one, eh, pretty much side by side within half a meter. So it's uh, not a big deal. Um, so what really interested me is to see how the freestyle mode would work, you know, for a normal type rider. Um, for those people who don't know about the freestyle mode, it will tell you your trick, if it registers it, which way you were going, and it will give you points. It will also tell you if your landing was good or sketchy, yeah, whatever that means. So I went out and I just basically did a bunch of normal hooked in jumps, some back rolls, front rolls, some air, some board offs. The um, most complicated trick I did was a front to blind, just to see how the thing would react. And it's pretty disappointing. Um, it registered none of my front rolls. Uh, I did about five or six, and not a single one yeah, ended up being registered. Um, it registered, I think, one of the front rolls. My front roll to blind, it registered as an S-bend. Um, so, yeah, and board off, and none of that other stuff, no. It's all straight airs. It'll tell you if you're going left or right. That's it. But half of my rotations it didn't actually register. Yeah. It was all straight airs, which could be okay it only will register rotations if you're doing an unhooked jump. Yeah, But for a normal rider this for me makes the mode totally useless. And another thing that was a bit confusing was um, the points, the points system. Um, my highest score was for a box standard straight air like 900 points and the S-bend was only 700 points or something. So it's a bit strange that uh, like a more technical maneuver got scored lower than a straight air. 
Um, also with the straight air didn't have a very like hard landing, like a very good landing. Um, so it's a bit strange. So yeah, but in general at the moment it's not finished this mode. Um, it didn't register half my moves and the point system, they need to explain exactly what it's for. On one issue that annoys me a little bit, my, with my, I use a Samsung um, Galaxy S7 and my original Wu works great, connections are fine. The new Wu keeps dropping the connection. It's for some reason, it's not really compatible with my phone. It, it's really hard. For the freestyle mode, which takes a little bit longer to um, download, it's almost impossible. I actually had to download the freestyle mode with my tablet and the connection was fine there. So there's probably some small firmware issue there with the connection, with the Bluetooth connection to my phone. It could be, it's probably an issue with my phone or it's a compatibility issue between the new Wu and my phone. Okay, I hope um, this gives you a bit of an insight to the Wu 2.0 and if you like the video, please like, leave a comment and I'll see you guys on the water. Have fun.